and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a torque application on a cylindrical drive shaft in a machine. To start off, set preferences, then LSD and explicit, and structure, which is defaultly selected. Just select OK now. Then go to preprocessor mode, element type, add. Since I'm doing on a hollow shaft, I'll go for a thin shell. That's OK. There are nine explicit dynamic elements which are only used in LSGNA for explicit dynamic analysis. Go for options. I'll select as by core rotation. I'll select OK. I'll go to real constants. Add OK 1. Number of integration points 2. And the thickness is 6.8. That's OK. Close. I'll, I'll give the material properties of the shaft. Material properties, material models. Then LSD, linear, elastic, isotropic. I give the material properties of a steel. That is density 7600 E minus 9 and 207 E5 inks modulus and poisons ratio is 0 0.3. That's OK. Material exit. I'll go for modeling of the shaft. Create volumes, cylinder, hollow cylinder. And I give the coordinates. Work plane x, the origin, the center. And radius 45. And depth is 1250. And this is the shaft. Now I mesh it. I go to mesh, meshing. Firstly, in LSD, you know, it takes a lot of time while solving. To reduce the time while solving, increase the mesh element size. So I go to size controls, manual size, areas, all areas, and increase the element edge length. I give 50. And I go mesh tool, and I'll give smart size as scores to reduce the analysis time. I go to areas, free, mesh and pick all and this is the final meshed shaft now a shaft is created but to for the LSGNA to understand like if there are two or three objects while analysis for LSGNA to understand e each and other object we define it as an entity see now how, how I create an entity go to select entities elements by attributes one apply notes attach it to elements ok now you go to select component assembly create component and I give us shaft say shaft say the name of the entity as shaft now I'll plot nodes so that now the element the entity defined is it does it, it contains these number of nodes and I'll select everything. Now my preprocessor phase is over. I'll go to solution phase. I'll give initial velocity on the shaft and I'll give I'll give a torque of three thousand five hundred RPM, which gives an omega z of six. 670.67 now I'll go to analysis options and energy options and I select everything on I'll go time control solution time this is the time in a crash analysis where the where the two objects come in contact and in the shaft because we are concerned only about in on one entity we can, we can give a very less time. I'll go to output uh, controls file output frequency. To decrease the analysis time I'll give the number of output steps as 50. Now I click solve. 